So come into a nice comfortable seat and roll out those shoulders, loosen up any tightness. Oh, I'll start some music for us as well. There you go. Loosen up any tightness that's going on in the back and in the neck. Take lovely deep full breaths as well as you do to nourish and fill up the body. And I forgot to put everyone on mute. Eventually just find that stillness, relax your face and with my eyes either gazing down to the floor or gently close, soften the jaw. Look for that lovely length up through the spine, the lovely curves from tail to crown. Feel the beautiful breath moving through your body. Energizing and nourishing every part of you. And as you tune into your breath, allow your mind to settle on an intention for your practice. Repeat that intention to yourself a couple of times that it really sink in and remember to carry it with you through the practice so it can spur you on and support you when some of the things get a little bit hectic. Connect into that breath and I shall go and find my phone for the timer. together in front of your heart space. Connecting into that heartbeat. I will bring those beautiful healing vibrations of OM into our body. Let that sound vibrate through every cell in your being. Taking a deep breath in. Keeping your eyes closed, rubbing your hands together vigorously, creating warmth and heat and pranic energy. And either palming your eyes or palming your heart space. Gazing into whichever space you're holding and spread that energy down. We're going to warm up with a, um, a breath practice called um, Kapalabhati, which is um, translates as shining forehead because it's really good for the circulation in the face and also for the body in general. So you're going to take lovely um, 
right the breaths, but it's really all about the exhale. The inhale just happens naturally. So as you take a deep breath in, and you send the breath out through the nose, the belly draws back in. So it will look like this. So we shall do three rounds of 36 exhales, taking a deep breath in and do it in your own time. Breathe in and begin. Take a break between the rounds. When you're ready to go again, deep breath in and off you go. Should be getting pretty warm. One more full round, 36 exhales, deep breath in, let it go. Feel that energy, that vitality that's been brought into your body. All right, let's begin our warm up coming into a child's pose at the end of your mat. Come on down, stretch out through the spine, reach out through the hands, have a little wobble out. Breathe in, lovely full breath into the body and on your exhale, draw the belly in, roll up to your knees, Vajrasana, bring the hands up overhead. Hands in front of your heart space, on your next inhale, fingers to the ground and exhale, tongue out, let the energy out. Fingers to the sky as you do that. Again, breathe in, fingers to the ground. Lion's breath, sit that tongue out, let it out. Fingers to the sky when you do that. Inhale, fingers down. Fingers up as you breathe out, tongue out. Two more, breathe in. Let it out. One more. Let it out. Interlace those fingers, take it up. Release those arms. Whoops, touch my earbuds with my arm. <laughs> Reach up and over, exhale. Inhale up. And exhale over. Inhale up. Exhale over. Soften, let the body come around to the other side. Inhale up. And exhale over. Go back over to the other side. Inhale up. Exhale over, soften, come around, inhaling up, and exhale, come on down. Roll up into your downward facing dog, tread it out. Walk that dog, create lots of yummy space in your body, relaxing the head and neck. Spread the arms out, find lots of length up through your tail. Breathe deeply. And then we're going to roll up to the toes, round the back, mountain cat pose, and roll forward into an up dog. Breathe the heart open, shoulders back. And you can have the legs down or you can have the toes tucked and lift them off the floor, energizing the body. Draw the belly button up to the spine as you roll up through your core, back to your downward facing dog. We're going to repeat that up to the toes, 
Round the back, feel the body wave through, coming into your plank and then letting the heart lift, strength through the front of the body, strength through those arms, beautiful. Draw back up again, find that strength. Exhale, inhale up and exhale to come through, inhale to open the heart and up again, exhale. And again, roll up, inhale, open, and exhale, up. One last time, roll up and through, breathe in, and exhale, right up, down dog. Reach into that down dog, right leg to the sky, dog split. So in our downward facing dog, reach up and back, lift through that right leg, feel the left leg stretch out, release. Left leg to the sky, lift that up, stretch it out, keep the weight even in the arms. And now show our armpits pointing to the ground, lengthen, 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 release. Bend the knees, look to the hands, you can step, walk or lightly hop up there, one or two hops to get up there and hang. Hang it out here. You can hold on to your elbows if you like. Or you can just let the arms hang out, feel the body stretching out, down through the spine, into the crown, and out through the legs as well. Drawing the belly in, press through the feet, and allow the body to roll up, rag or to the sky, hands up overhead, and hands to your heart space. Interlace those fingers, reach up through the arms and reach out to the side. Lovely big side stretch. Inhale back to center, up and over to the other side. Inhale back to center and exhale, bow to the ground. Inhaling, half lift and exhaling, bow. Step back, downward facing dog. Roll up through your down dog, knees to the ground into a modified plank. Elbows back towards your hips, chest opens, and bring the chest and chin to the ground, pelvis in the air. Release down, shrug the shoulders back, breathe in, cobra. Tuck the body under from cobra, peel the body up, downward facing dog. Right leg to the sky, step that right foot through, turn the back foot out, and let's roll up into our warrior two. Breathe into it. Back foot nice and open to the side of the mat. Front inner thigh rolling up and back gaze over the front hand. Lengthen the body up through center. Breathe into it. Reach up through the crown and down through the tails. We've got this beautiful length and we're stretching and opening through the body. Back hand comes in. Back foot readjusts the face in. High lunge. Exhale, release down. Step back, plank. Hold that plank, five, four, three, two, one. Come down, knees down, let's do a baby chaturanga. So knees are down behind us, elbows move back towards our hips, chest no lower than those elbows. And then move into your up dog. So you can have the um, toes tucked or you can have them flat, energizing everything to the sky. Draw the belly button up and roll over the feet or just step the feet up to move into your downward facing dog. Beautiful. Breathe into it. Left leg to the sky. And then go ahead, step that left foot forward, turn the back foot out, open up into your warrior two. Breathe and hold this warrior, lengthening through the center of the body. Opening up through the inner thighs of both legs, reaching through the ball of the foot and into the heel of both legs and drawing up through the arches. Really reach out through the crown and reach out through those fingers. Soften the back leg, turn the back foot in, bring the arms up, high lunge, draw the belly and lengthen the tailbone down. Beautiful. Exhale, step it back, plank. Hold five, four, three, two, one, tap the knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Lift downward facing dog. 
Bend the knees, look to the hands, step, walk or float to the top of your mat there, hang again. Press through the feet, rise up to standing, hands in front of your heart. We'll do that one more time and then it is hip time. <laughs> Inhale, take it up. Exhale, bow to the ground. Uh, left foot steps back, turn the back foot out, rise up into your warrior two. Gaze over that front hand. Work those inner thighs open, breathe into it, spread the mat apart through the feet. Back foot in, rise up, find your balance, high lunge. Exhale, step back, uh, plank. Hold five, four, three, two, one. You can baby chaturanga like we did earlier or full chaturanga. Elbows towards the body and shoulders no lower than those elbows. Up dog or cobra and downward facing dog. Breathe into that down dog. Go ahead and step your left foot forward. Turn your right foot out and open up into your warrior two. Breathe into it. Turn that back foot in and reach up through both arms, squaring the hips forward. Belly in, tailbone to the ground. Reach into that back leg, keeping the torso nice and firm. Step back. Plank hold, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your feet together in your plank and roll to the edge of the right foot, keeping both hands to the ground. Roll back to centre, roll to the edge of the left foot, again keeping both hands to the ground. That's it, back to centre, roll to the other side. Back to centre, roll to the other side. Back to centre, downward facing dog. Breathe, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees, look to the hand step, walk or float to the top and press and rise. All right, so ready for that first hit. We're going to come into our chair. So safe chair with the feet hip width apart, hips and knees sliding back, hands out in front of you and we're just going to start off just with a chair fist of fire. So we slide everything back, exhale, inhale down, exhale, press and lift, pressing through the feet. If you want to go more, you can press up to the toes and then we're going to, we're going to have a chair medley. So let me start this timer. You have Six seconds to prep, slide the weight back, and here we go. Slide the weight back. If you want to, you can pop up to the toes. Almost there. And rest, shake it out. I'll turn up the volume on the timer. We're going to do that one more time. Slide the weight back. <laughs> Here we go. Every time you come down, bend the knees, shift the hips back like the seat is quite far behind you. And bring those arms in with power. And... Take a moment. The next one we're going to do, chair burpees, so come down, hop back, hop up and up. Down, 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 off you go. Down, hop or step and up. Down, hop or step and up. Off you go. Breathe. Work that breath. That's it. Landing with bent knees every time. Take a moment. We're going to double up those hops for the next one. So breath, break, breathe, breathe, breathe. And now we're going to do double hops. Here we go. Down, hop, 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 and then come up. And down, hop, hop, hop. One, two. One, two. Use your breath. 
in through the nose, out through the mouth. Take a moment, 10 seconds to rest, shake it out. We're gonna repeat that again. Breathe, here we go, off you go. Two hops, or you can step it instead. If you want, you can absolutely step it out. And of course, just like we did before, you can come up to those toes. Use that breath. And take a breath. The next one, we're gonna come down, run for six, and then hop up. Ready? Off we go, down, run. <laughs> and then hop up, complete it. Come down, run, knees to the chest. Four, six or eight runs, whatever feels good. Keep working it. Beautiful. Breathe. And rest. 10 seconds, rest. Ooh, we're gonna repeat that again. And we are almost done with our cardio section. Off you go, down. Breathe. If you're feeling really frisky, you can hop it. As long as you land with bent knees. Or you can just do up to those toes. Rest. One more to go. Breathe it out. Last one, we're going to come down and we're going to go opposite knees and up. Down, hop, opposite, opposite, and up. Off you go. That was the timer. Work it out. And up. Hop, opposite, opposite, and up. Hop, opposite, opposite, and up. Keep going. Great. Whew. Shake it out. Breathe. Have a sip of water. And we're going to work our buns for the next one. We'll also do a bun medley. So we're going to come down. We'll start out easy. Good old um, up to the sky. In, up to the sky. And to the armpit. We're going to do that on one side and then swap to the other side in the next round. So up, in, you can round, up, and you can crunch, and look at it. Up, keep the belly drawn in as you lift that leg, bring it in, up, and then you can crunch it in. So take a moment, you get 10 seconds to prep. Oh, it is so hot today. Deceptively so. Here we go. Off you go. Up, in, up to the side. Work at your own pace. You can go slow or you can go fast. Make sure that your alignment is nice and strong. Almost there. And take a moment. I'm going to repeat that on the other side. Breathe into it. Here we go. Prep up. Other side. Same thing. Up, in, up to the side. Exhale when that knee comes into the body. And take a breath. Now, if you want to, you can come up a little higher, back to the other side repeating the same thing or you can stay down where you were breathe it out almost there and take a rest are we gonna go to the other side Whew, are you as hot as me I am up. Here we go. Either down on all fours or with a little bent leg down dog. Work it out. And take a 
raise the next one we're gonna do fire hydrant up and in up and in so all it is to get those lovely glute meads working off you go breathe Okay, stay strong in the arms, almost there, and take a rest. We're going to repeat on the other side, and five, four, three, two, off you go. Lifting the knee as high as you can, knee higher than that heel. And we're so close, there's only two more after this. And take a moment. So the last one in this set, we're going to go out to the side, out, in, out, in, to the side, out, in, out, in, to the side, out, in, out, in, to the side, out, in, out, in to the side. Ooh, feel the burn. And to the side. Almost there. And take a moment. Last one on the other side. Here we go. And go. Out, in, out, in to the side. Out, in, out, in to the side. Breathe. Up. And up. Work it out. Almost there. Yes. <laughs> Just shake the hips out to one side. Maybe give them a nice little stretch out as you drop the hips over to one side. Oh, that feels good. And maybe over to the other side. And we're going to come down and do a core medley and then man time is racing past on us today but we shall do a core medley and we're just going to go now we'll do the whole thing <laughs> we're going to start off with a belly bonfire legs down to the ground uh, belly into the ground shoulders off the ground chest and face to the sky head drops into the hands pulse breathe Work it out. So draw the belly down to the ground. Draw the lower back into the ground. Shoulder blades stay off the ground the whole time. Drop your head into your fingers so you're not straining your neck. Baby pulses is all you need. Work it out. Work it out. Work it out. Stretch. 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 We're going to do one more of those. Shoulders off the ground. And off you go. Whoops. Breathe. Drop the head into the hands. Feel the core moving all the way up to the rib cage, pretty much. Lower back into the floor and shake it out. And we're going to, for the next one, take the knees to the sky, hands in front, and just try and reach for the heels. Breathe. Shoulders off the ground the whole time. Almost there. So close. Keep a comfort in the neck. And stretch that out. Oh, we're going to roll over onto our fronts, coming into a um, plank on the forearms, and you're just going to rock forward and back. Rock it out, forward and back. Breathe. Feel the core nice and strong. Rock. Lovely plank here. Keep going, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, take yourself down to the ground. Actually, we're gonna call it there because we're so running out of time. Lucky for you. <laughs> stretch out, interlace the fingers, and stretch. 
Stretch, 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 stretch. Walk your heels over to the side. No, we're not running out of time. Sorry, I forgot this class starts at 6.20, not 6 a.m. 6 p.m. Walk over. It's because I had to teach a class before, which I don't normally do, so I'm all out of whack. We've got heaps of time. That means we're going to do another hit. <laughs> but we'll just hang out here for a moment. And then walk back to centre. Walk those heels to the side. To the other side and walk your shoulders over. Breathe. Awesome. We're going to work our arms. And we'll come back to our core as well. And then come back to centre. Hug those knees in. Nose between the knees. And then rock yourself up. So we're going to bring our hands behind us. Fingers forward. Knees to the sky. And we're going to bend those elbows back, chest to the sky as well. So it doesn't matter how far down you go, it depends on your comfort level. And if you need a little support on those wrists, you can uh, fold the mat up as much as you like. Let me, yeah, we'll do that the rest of the way. Here we go. Chest to the sky. And... Make sure that the chest stays lifted and that the wrists and the elbows are kind of along the same line. So your wrists, your hands are turning in weird directions. If the elbows point out, then the hands point in. And take a moment. You can drop the hands the opposite way to stretch out those wrists. We're going to do four of these and then we're going to do some different ones. And here we go. Work it out. Breathe into it. Keep working it. Almost there. And take a rest. Breathe into it. And hands back. Here we go, chest lifts, off you go. Keep the weight even in those arms so that you're not favouring your strong side and collapsing into your weak side. Gaze at one spot, lift the heart and rest one more of these. And then we're going to switch it up, do a different set, and then some more core. Lift, and off you go. Beautiful. These are the easy tricep ones. <laughs> and take a moment. Let me restart the timer. What we're going to do is flip onto our, our fronts and we're going to do, just when the arms are already wobbly and shaky, we're going to do little baby tarangas. Just little ones. Elbows back towards the hips. So take a moment. We haven't started yet. Feel free to roll out those wrists first. Stretch out the arms. You have 10 seconds to prep. Just find what feels good for your body. Knees back. The further back they are, the harder it is. So just find a comfortable medium. And elbows back towards your hips. You don't have to go super low. Gaze slightly forward so that you're not dropping the neck. Oh, these are tougher. Should have started with these, huh? Breathe into it, almost there, and take a break. Child's pose, or bring the arms behind you, find what feels good, prep up, here we go, and it's only 20 seconds. You can just do little baby ones, 
or you can come down much further if you're stronger. 10 seconds. Whew. Breathe. Whew. Almost there. Child's pose. Or anything that feels good, you can bring the arms behind you in child's pose, stretch out. And here we go, second to last one. Work it out. Breathe it out. Look forward, don't look at the floor. Look slightly forward at the floor there. <laughs> 10 seconds, we're almost there. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> it out one more one more one more here we go last one 20 seconds make it count knees can be all the way back or you can be full press up full chaturanga if you want doesn't have to be epic just elbow slightly back towards your hips that's all beautiful that's it ladies gorgeous almost there and that's it <sighs> Breathe, child's pose, rest. Oops, pause that. <laughs> rest and then come up. Now it's core time. So back onto your back and we're going to do our lovely um, cycling pose. So we're going to have the hands behind on the head and then opposite knee to opposite elbow. All right, here we go. Ready, steady, go. Keep the shoulder blades off the ground the whole time. Work it, almost there. And stretch out. Stretch out, one more of those. And up you go, shoulders off the ground, and cycle it up as fast or as slow as you want to go. Use that exhale. Man, I need a shower after this. <laughs> and stretch it out. You're going to flip over onto your fronts again and this time we're going to do a little dolphin lift up and down, up and down. Now you can have your toes tucked instead. Stay strong through the arms, stay strong through the core. This is the last, second to last one of our hits. So, Breathe into it, dig deep, deep, rest. Rest, wobble out those hips. Tops of the feet can come down or you can tuck the toes. Here we go, this is it. No, it's not, we've got, not second to last at all, I lied. We've actually, no it is. Oh my gosh, I'm getting all confused. This is the last one. Work it out. Almost there. And that's it. Hallelujah. We're going to come into flapping fish. So, arms on an angle towards the left side. Left knee up to that elbow and just rest. Breathe. Breathe into it. So, if I was lying on the wall, it would look like that. <laughs> Breathe and relax. <sighs> Deep breaths. This helps to lengthen one side of your body, compresses the other side. Great for sciatic issues. Lovely way to let the body soften and surrender. And then bring that leg back down. Walk your arms over to the other side. Bring your knee up and rest. Let your breath soften. the legs 
roll your shoulders back, press up, sink back down, child's pose, rest in child's pose, hands by your side if that's comfy. Deep breaths. Draw your belly in, roll up the drasana, hands overhead and hands in front of your heart space. We're going to cool down with a little vinyasa flow and then a little stretch out. Interlace your fingers, take those palms up. Exhale, come down, child's pose. Roll through your child's pose, tuck your toes, knees, chest, chin to the ground, elbows back. Should be nice and strong now. Release down, shrug the shoulders back, breathe in, cobra. From your cobra, exhale, look back to one foot and inhale, center. Exhale, twisted cobra, look to the other foot and inhale, center. Exhale, release. Tuck the toes, shrug the shoulders back, draw the belly in, half plank. Dig deep, find that strength that's in there, downward facing dog. Right leg to the sky, go ahead, step through, turn your back foot out, rise up, warrior two, just like at the start. Breathe into that warrior two. The back hand comes behind you or down that back leg, front hand turns up to the sky and breathe in. Miyuki's having a tough time. <laughs> breathe in and open and inhale up. Yoga with the children, it's all good. Turn everything forward and step back into a downward facing dog. Lift the sitting bones to the sky. Left leg to the sky, go ahead, step that through, turn the back foot out, rise up, warrior two. Back hand comes behind or at the thigh and lift into your reverse warrior. Inhale, extend, warrior two, turn everything forward and exhale, come down, step back, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, drop the back knee, low lunge. From that low lunge, draw back through the right hip crease and lift and open the heart. Breathe into it. Exhale, release and draw back over your heel into our half split pose. Draw the toes back towards you, draw that right hip back, lengthen your heart forward. It's okay if the knee bends, just breathe into the body, respect any tightness that's anywhere. And we'll stretch out those legs a little more in a moment. Exhale, release. Walk the right foot over to the edge of your mat, bring your hands in between underneath your shoulders. And you can stay here if this is super tight. If you're comfortable, you can come down a little lower. Just let those hips have a nice stretch out. Breathe into it here. We're going to walk the right foot across the body now. Making your way into a pigeon pose. So if that's not doable, just readjust the body, send the hips back and find your way into pigeon. Lengthen out through the left leg. And if pigeon's no good, just come onto your back and thread the needle instead. Breathe up, square the hips up. If you need any support underneath the thigh or the hip, go ahead and grab a blanket or a cushion. And this front leg can come parallel to the top of the mat if that's comfortable for you, or it can stay closer to the opposite hip. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then if you're comfortable, exhale and lengthen down into a nice reclined pigeon. Inhaling, coming up. Tuck the back foot. Draw the body up into your downward facing dog. And give that right knee a nice little walk out, a nice little bend and release. Reach up into that tailbone. Lovely big downward facing dog. The left foot 
foot steps forward, low lunge. You drop down into that low lunge, knee comes down to a comfortable position, to a cushion if it needs it. Breathe in, draw back through this left hip crease and rise up. Belly draws in, find lots of openness through the body and exhale, release. Draw back over that front leg, draw the left leg right into the hip socket, toes towards you, stretch out the back of the hamstrings, the calf muscles. And then soften that knee, bring the hand to the inside of the foot, walk the foot over to the edge of the mat, finding space for your body. And either stay here or come down a little lower if that feels good for you. It's all about finding what feels good, allowing your body to stretch out now after that big hit session. Allowing yourself to cool, allowing the breath to come back to a lovely even tempo. And then walking that foot across the body or just leaning back to come into your pigeon pose on the other side knee towards the wrist reach out through that back foot make sure it's nice and straight even up the hips prop them up if they need it draw the shoulders back lengthen through the chest breathe in find lots of openness in the body and then exhale, come on to a comfortable, reclined position. Beautiful. under behind you and lift yourself into your downward facing dog allowing that left leg to tread out bending the knee loosening up the body and then go ahead uh, drop the knees wide bring the big toes together and come down into a wide legged child's pose inhale rise up back into your down dog second to last down dog of the evening reach it up bend the knees make your way up to the top of the mat hang let the knees soften breathe the body down feel the stretch out through the hips feel the stretch out through the legs that's it ladies, beautiful. Just enjoy the body, just kind of just hanging out here. Press through the feet. Start to draw the belly button into the spine. Take your time, we're gonna roll up for 10. Press through the feet, very slowly start to roll up, 10. Draw that belly up so there's no strain in the back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two one head comes up last turn those arms up reach them up breathe it up reach up and back if that feels good and hands in front of your heart space 
Interlace your fingers, turn your palms up, gaze in front of you. Find a drishti, a nice focal point. Feet are hip width apart, spread the toes out, connect to the balls of the feet. Tailbone to the ground, belly in, and then rise up to the toes. Find your stability here, open up those arms. Lots of length through the back of the neck, up into the crown, hold five, four, three, two, one, soften the heels, soften the body, melt yourself down to the ground. Inhale, run the hands up your shins, half lift, hug the ribs in slightly, lengthen out the torso. Just halfway here. And exhale, bow. Step back, last downward facing dog. Reach into that down dog, open up the body. And then up to the toes, roll in round the body, come through like a beautiful wave. That's it, knees back underneath you uh, into a modified plank. Elbows back, chest and chin to the ground, release all the way down. Shrug the shoulders back, breathe in cobra. And exhale, release. Hands at the lower ribs, shrug the shoulders back, tap the toes, draw the belly in, half plank, and then sink back down, child's pose. Release. Breathe deeply into your thighs, up into the back of the body, surrender yourself down completely. Inhale, roll up and come on to your backs. Hallelujah. Here come the twists and the shavasana. So come on down. Onto your back. Bring those knees in. Give yourself a gentle hug. Just kind of rock from side to side. And allow the knees now to roll around so we massage up the hips and the lower back. And roll them around in the other direction. And then extend your arms out and drop the knees over towards the right. Gaze in any direction that feels comfortable. Allow yourself to soften and surrender completely. And then draw the knees back up and drop them over to the other side. Again, gazing in any direction that feels comfortable and supported. back to center. Drop the feet to the edge of the mat, drop the knees in towards themselves. Rest one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. Take three deep abdominal breaths, long, slow, deep breaths. done that, soften into your Shavasana, feet out nice and wide, arms out by your side, lengthen through your spine. Take a deep breath in through the nose, side out through the mouth. Another deep full breath. Let it all go. And really just sink into your mat here. Soak up the rewards of your practice as the energy start to settle into your tissues, 
into your energetic body, into your physical body. And let the breath be gentle and soft. Release any effort. Soften any muscular tension. Relax the jaw. Relax the eyes. Relax that space between your eyebrows. Keep noticing if there's any tension creeping in anywhere and let it go, let it go, let it go. And then start to deepen your breath, wiggling out your fingers and toes, starting to stretch if that feels good or just curl up and rest on your side for a few more moments. Eventually, making your way back to a comfortable seat, feel free to keep your eyes closed, bring your hands together in front of your heart space and connect to that heartbeat once more. Feel that energy rising through your spine, but feel that complete groundedness and connectedness through the base of your body into the earth. Connect back to your intention from the beginning of our practice. Another moment to think of at least three things that you're grateful for. Let that feeling of gratitude fill you up, spill out and pour out of you, covering you in gratitude and filling the room. Close with the Shanti Mantra, chanting Om Shanti 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 to bring peace to ourselves, peace to our friends and our families and peace to the world, taking a deep breath in. Om. Shanti. Shanti, 
Shanti. Bow your head slightly, sending thoughts of love and gratitude to your body, to your mind and to your spirit. And sending those thoughts out to the rest of the world. Keeping your eyes closed and rubbing your hands together. And gently palming your eyes or your heart space. Gazing into whichever space you're holding. And then spreading that energy all over your body. Thank you so much for joining me today, ladies and gentlemen.